Hello everyone, I am Vishna, the chair of this debate session. Today we have two teams. One is representation team to support the topic of why capital punishment should be eliminated. That consists of Neat, Vichiri and Devi. And we also have three members from opposition team such as Lip, Bunlu and Sikai to oppose the topic above. Let's start our first Speaker from Preposition Team. Thank you. Hello, my name is Niet and I am the first speaker of Proposition. Punishment should be eliminated. The reason why I believe that capital punishment should be banned because that penalty is that sentence really puts people at risk. For instance, one man was executed for the arts and governors were very proud of they have found that the man was innocent. An oversight committee was formed to investigate the killing of that man. But right before they were to release the results. How do you apologize to the person you have executed in, in error? How will we bring them back to life? In, uh, in US, the rate of error is extremely high. Since 1973, 159 people were, have been released from death now. However, what if new evidence is dis discovered and it turns out that the prisoner was innocent? If uh, timing and the circumstances had been different, prisoner would have died for a crime they didn't commit. Thank you, that's it for my part. All right, thank you Nia, for your speech. Okay, now we have listened to the first speaker of the Reposition team. Let's move to the first speaker of opposition teams, which is Lee. Please welcome. Um, greeting everyone. Um, from what you heard from the um, opposition side, even though their given point was great, but we are the um, opposition side strongly disagree about uh, that. So we are here to prove and present more specific reason why we definitely should not ban uh, capital punishment. Um, the, pro the proposition agree that this punishment is meant to kill criminals who commit a serious crime. I'd like to add more to that. It is not only defined as just killing the criminal, but it is also um, the development to the society in the present and the future. We can prevent crime rate in the community, and which could lead to the improvement of the safety and secure society as well. Some society has also used a uh, death sanction or capital punishment upon those who commit serious crime, such as uh, murderer, I'm sorry, such as um, murders, kidnaps, rapes, and so on. However, some countries punish them in the opposite way by just put them behind the bars for several years. Um, all right, let's see, consider it this way. For example, um, there is a criminal. Uh, there is there is a criminal who is a uh, who is um, rapist, a uh, kidnapper, and also a killer. He killed his victim, and his judge, or uh, the judge or the government, sentenced him to uh, serve in jail for twelve years. And years passes, he's got released. But um, he continued looking for another victim, but still practice all those unforgivable crimes all over again. And it's become like a cycle. So um, that somehow uh, 
uh, and somehow his school activity encourages um, those other who attempt attempt to commit crimes as well. Who's gonna stop? Uh, who's gonna put a stop in this cycle? Although it is just a scenario, but if it is possible, it could lead to a serious problem to the society as well uh, in the future. But um, if the government practice the capital punishment, I'm sorry, uh, the capital punishment, like send them then to death or execute them instead, it could discourage certain criminals who intend to commit serious crime in the future. Those potential murderers will think twice and reconsider before killing or committing any brutal uh, criminal activities. Thank you. All right, thank you, Leo, for your talk. Let's move to the second speaker of the preposition team today, is Pichiri. Um, so, um, my name is Hong Pichiri, and I'm the second speaker of the preposition team. So, um, the, the first speaker of the opposition team writes that um the capital punishment can the capital punishment um can be used the rate of uh, um the crime that uh, is committed however there is no solid evidence that um the rate of the crime um has been reduced besides our team have another two reasons of why the capital punishment should be eliminated first the capital punishment should be eliminated because of the incompetency of the court capital punishment cannot be taken lightly that why it requires the competent court that can provide absolute fairness and justice to everyone However, the issue mostly rises in developing countries. Since those countries are still in the progress of development, their, their courts tend to be dependent and puzzled. The court can be influenced both financially and politically. As an example, in some countries, those who have money can use their resources to alter the judgment of the judge. And in some other countries, the court is used as political call tools um, specifically they abuse their um, the, those who have power abuse their authority and order the court to do what they want um, thus if this incompetent courts were to have the power to render the capital punishment the result would be tragic moreover even in the developed country where the competency of the court um, is believed to be better than in the developing countries they still have issue the significant one is about the discrimination there can be the discrimination against race ethnicity or even religious during the trial um, because of this discrimination the decision of the court tend to be biased that cannot guarantee the fair trial to all citizens of the country due to all this incompetency of the court um, our team believe that the capital punishment should be eliminated and um, another reason is about um, the capital punishment is opposed to human rights human rights is the right that everyone in everywhere have simply because they are human. Out of its many basic rights that provide under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, right to live is among the basic ones. This right ensures that all humans can live freely and no one can take away this right. As for capital punishment, which is related to taking someone's life, it is really go against the human right. Therefore, the capital punishment should be eliminated as it is fundamentally opposed to human rights. Thank you. All right, thank you, Petri, for your speech. And now let's uh, move to the new talk. Please welcome. Hello, my name is Phun Lu. Uh, thank you for the proposition of uh, team one uh, she said that the capital punishment should be eliminated but I think that uh, capital punishment should not be eliminated because of some crimes are so heinous and inherently wrong that they demand strict penalties up to and including life sentence or even death. Society used punishment to discourage criminals from unlawful action. It should use the strongest punishment 
available to deter murder. And that is the death penalty if murderer are sentenced to death and execute. A potential murderers will sing twice before killing for fear of losing their own life. And about the human right, the proposition said that it uh, affect the human right violation. But some countries thought that capital punishment is the human right violation, but it should be considered to be adopted in a particular uh, circumstance, people in the world always face threat of meaning. If we choose one thing, we have to give up another thing. It is the same as in the case choosing to adopt capital punishment. It is a must to affect the human right to life. Even though this seems cruel, but it's so a uh, significant change in crime and murder rates. Since the death penalty has a deterrent effect, which the threat of punishment will deter people from committing crime and reduce the prob probability and the level of offending in society. More importantly, even though it violates a people or a group right, but it protects the security and interests of the whole society and the world. For example, a truck cattle member to whose murders arrival cattle member face life in prison without parole. What if the what if they murder two, three or twelve people? Or a terrorist who kills dozens, hundreds, or thousand people. The sentence of the death penalty treat all murders as the same. If one a person commit the crime, the same crime, but they release, so it is not justice to other murderer. This is uh, this provided it is also necessary to have capital punishment because some crimes simply are so uh, horrific that any the punishment, including life in case, is uh, insufficient. But give up on the death penalty would mean give up on the justice for crime victims. Thank you. All right, thank you. So now, David, the third speaker of uh, sorry. So now to be the speaker who supports that uh, capital punishment should be eliminated can make a summary. Um, I am the third speaker of the proposition team. So to sum up my team statement, we believe that capital punishment should be eliminated at all costs because it has proven that not all the criminals are guilty. Just like my team has mentioned, if there's death penalty, there's unfairness for sure. Like Nid mentioned, what if there's error and mistake in your case or your trial? Then you're proven innocent letter. You could be released and lead a normal life, but how about those who were killed already? We help them find justice if they're already dead and gone. A person has suffered enough because, of, because he or she was strongly accused, but they have to end their life too? That's just not right. And like Cherry said, even if the criminals are guilty, they are human too. How can we take their life away from them so easily? They should reflect on their mistake in prison instead. And one more thing is, what is what if the law is biased? Because who knows, right? Then the powerful will use death penalty to suppress torture and kill the powerless however they like. Because the victim has passed away already. Nobody is going to be in their ways anymore. As a result, my team members and I strongly believe that capital punishment should not be practiced anywhere in this world. Thank you. All right, lastly, Sukai, who is the last speaker of opposition teams, can make a summary. Please welcome. Hello, everyone. 
uh, hello, I'm the third, I'm the third speaker of the opposite, the opposition team. Uh, to sum up, the motion of this debate is the capital punishment should be eliminated, and our group is the opposition. Moreover, my teammate has raised two main points that go against this motion. Uh, Lip, the first speaker of the opposition team, raised an idea that capital punishment does not only mean to kill the criminal who committed a serious crime, but also improve the development of the society in the present and future. Moreover, it can lead to the fall of the crime rate in the society, which provides people safety and security. People can live in peace. Uh, plus, she believes that if the government just, just sentences a criminal who continues committing the crime again and again into the jail, it could inspire other criminals who intend to commit crimes. It could lead to a majority of crime rates. However, if the government practice capital punishment that criminal for the purpose of burning other criminals, uh, they will be scared to inherit those cruel activities and never dare to practice it. Another speaker of the opposition team, Wulu, also raised the idea that capital punishment should not be eliminated because some crimes are so serious and cruel, which demand a strong punishment to deal with. And it is a death penalty. penalty. Uh, to practice this punishment, it has some sort of effect on the human right. However, it shows significant change in crime and murder and murder rats, uh, and lead the society to the next level, and lead the society to the next level of peace. And to conclude, my team believe that uh, capital punishment is very important for the society and should not be eliminated. That's all for my part. Thank you. So now let's end. Let's begin with. Uh, Representation teams require speech. Please welcome Devi. Um, so the reasons why I believe that my team should win because I disagree with the opposition team's point saying that death penalty only applies to serious crimes like rapists or serial murderer. So it's okay to practice that. I do understand this point. But how are those criminals going to pay for what they did? Death? No. I believe that they should be in prison for life. Why? Because they will suffer this way. They will think about what they did and they will be regretful, remorseful and guilty for the victims. They will spend their whole life suffering. The victim family will also be satisfied because if there's capital punishment, those cruel criminals will not spend the rest of their life suffering but dying in an instant without facing any difficulty. Compare this to their crime of torturing innocent life before the victim passed away, it's not fair. Capital punishment kills criminals too easily. And death penalty is one scary practice. We all know that we can never bring the death back to life, right? Why should it exist when it kills people so easily and instantly? How about the innocents who were wrongly accused because of their fabricated evidences or hatred? Destroy the wording of the court case and they are sentenced to death. How are we going to rewind back the time to bring them back to life? To say a million sorry to them and their family. Death penalty does not allow them to walk out of the jail, smile again and leave again when they have the right to leave and have so much to do with their life. Thank you. Okay. So before we end this debate today, let hear each team reply speech. Let's start with opposition teams. Welcome to Guy. Hello, uh, our team 
uh, did very well as the opposition, opposition team because we mentioned how good the capital punishment is to the society. However, the proposition team also raised good ideas that de describe the incom incompetency of the court and human rights. And they did very well on those points. We think that was a good point and that was a mad well. We give them credit. Nevertheless, I still believe that my team should win this should win this debate because we think the point that the proposition team did, did well is not the most important point of this debate. Let's let's look at Fisheries part again. She told that people were born with human rights and capital punishment. And and capital punishment really has a bad effect on human rights. Yes, yes, it, it, it is true that people indeed have their human rights, but should we forgive criminals who keep killing, kidnapping, or robbing, or assaulting the victim? Even though they know that there is again the human right, they still do it anyway. They themselves are the first to disobey the human rights, not not, not the capital punishment, not the comp not the capital punishment, which is practiced by the government. Unfortunately, my team point is more important than the human. My team point. It's more important than the human rights points, which I have mentioned about, about in this debate. My team shows how the capital punishment provides benefits to the society, not only people from committing crime or cruel activities, but also increase the quality of peace in the society. Plus, we, we also rest an example to support the reason why the, the government should practice capital punishment. Furthermore, I still believe that we did these things, such as pressing good ideas and example to show the importance of the capital punishment to the communities much better than them. That's all for my reply. Reply speech. Thank you.